Welcome! In this video I will show you how you can uh, connect, establish a terminal connection between your laptop and your uh, Amazon EC2 instance running in the cloud without using SSH. And I'm going to use a service for that called AWS System Manager. <laughs> But first, why do you want to drop SSH? You are using SSH since many years and you know how to use it. But when you're using SSH, you need to think about private key and public key. Where are you going to store securely your private key? How are you going to rotate your keys? You need to open a security group uh, with port TCP 22 open. Uh, you also need, it's a best practice to have a bashton host where you connect from on-prem and then from the bashton host to your different instances uh, in the cloud. So it's a lot of infrastructure to manage and to think about just to make an occasional connection, terminal connection to your instances. So instead you can use AWS System Manager. Uh, System Manager, it's a, it's a service from, from AWS that allows you to give you uh, visibility and control on your infrastructure on AWS. For example, it allows you to group uh, EC2 instances for, for management purpose. You can run command uh, from distance. And one of the subset of the things that uh, uh, AWS System Manager does, it's called a Session Manager and as the name implies, it allows to establish a session between a machine and your instance. So how does it work? There are three components in, into um, a Session Manager. You need to have a, an agent installed on, on the machine uh, and that agent is the AWS System Manager uh, agent. Uh, I have a good news for you there. We do provide that agent. Uh, it's pre-installed on the EMI uh, that we do provide, so you have nothing to do if you start an Amazon Linux for example, uh, from our AMI, the agent will be started as well. So that's the first thing. The second thing, you need to uh, have permission um, to uh, initiate the session. So whoever, the operator that will uh, start the session needs to have uh, IAM permission to call uh, that API on AWS System Manager. And in the same way, the agent running on the EC2 instance also needs permission to call a System Manager. There is no incoming connection coming there. It is really the agent that will initiate the connection to the service so you need to attach a role to your Amazon EC2 uh, instance. Let's see how it works in a, in a demo. I'll create an instance so I go to my console. I'm here on the on the Paris region. I'm starting an Amazon uh, Linux 2 and I'm choosing T2 Micro because this one allows me to stay in the free tier. You know the free tier is the 750 hours I have every month for free on a new AWS uh, account. On the second screen there is a uh, one thing to, to pay attention, uh, of course the networking stuff, but also the IAM role. So you need to give permission to that instance to call AWS System Manager. Um, so I will create a new role, uh, going to the IAM console, click create role, it's a role for AWS service, it's EC2, I will actually assume uh, uh, that uh, role, so I can uh, click on EC2 and say uh, set permission. Instead of crafting the permission by myself, I will reuse a, a managed policy that we have. It's called um, SSM System Manager um, Manage Instance Core. So that's the role I will attach. That's the policy, sorry, that I will attach to my uh, role. Let's give a tag, SSM Demo. I give a name as well, SSM. Uh, demo. It has the correct uh, uh, policies so I can uh, create that uh, role. So going back to my EC2 uh, instance uh, detail here for IAM, I reload the roles and I should see SSM demo. Yeah, it's there. So let's, I'm not changing anything for storage. I'm tagging because it's a best practice. Um, name SSM demo. Security group, uh, and that's interesting. If I'm using System Manager, Session Manager, I don't need any security group because there is no incoming connection to my instance. It's the agent that will connect back to the, the service. So I can use an existing group here. I will use the default security group. And uh, look at the inbound rules. Um, th there is no inbound <laughs> rules. So there is no um, TCP connection, which is possible from, from the outside. Um, the console is warning me, saying, hey, you are not going to be able to connect over SSH. I, I know that. Uh, thank you. And the last one is the key, because I'm not using SSH. Uh, I don't need a key pair, so proceed before the key pair. And I acknowledge that I will not be able to connect to this instance. Uh, <laughs> 
uh, at least not with uh, SSH. So we can wait uh, just a few uh, a few uh, seconds. Uh, let's filter on my uh, SSM demo. I have one terminated from a previous demo. I have one uh, starting. Uh, let's review the different things while the instance is starting. Uh, this one is starting in a public subnet, so it has a public IP address. It's not necessary to connect. You can connect even if you have only a private IP address. Uh, I'm in EU West 3B. That's one of the three availability zones in Paris. Uh, I have no security group inbound poll uh, open uh, and I have an IMO SSM demo. So after um, a few seconds you should be in running mode. Uh, we don't need to wait for the status check to finish. I'm just giving a bit of time to the operating system to start. It will start the SSM agent and the SSM agent will connect back to a system uh, manager, session manager. So to connect to that instance, I need to have permission to uh, initiate a session from session manager. I can connect here and instead of choosing a standalone SSH client, I will choose a session manager. So let's do that and connect. And after a few seconds, I end up into a regular terminal. I can type my comment here. I'm uh, on, on, on this machine. Uh, just like uh, if I was over over uh, uh, SSH, um, for example. Um, oops, I don't need that. Sorry. <laughs> uh, let's clear this screen, and I can do sudo yum update minus yes, and that's a regular terminal. I'm not obliged to use that um, a terminal. I can also do it from a, a command line. So I have a command line here. Let's make the screen a bit uh, bigger so that you can uh, see what's what's going to happen here. Um, so this is my my uh, terminal, and I can just type AWS SSM uh, region if it is not def the default one uh, for you. And um, the API, it's start session, and I need to specify uh, my target. So what is my target? It's actually my instance ID. So I need to go back here, copy the instance ID, and from the terminal, I can uh, initiate a session as well. All I need is I am permission to call the start session uh, API on session manager. And here I am um, again on my uh, EC2 instance running in the cloud. So this is very easy way for you to do terminal connection, occasional terminal connection to your instance. There is no need to have a security group. There is uh, no need to have uh, SSH even running on the machine. There is no need for public IP address, no need for bash and host, no need for private key management and rotation. It's just simplifying your life. You manage permission through IAM permission, just like you're doing for the rest. In another episode of this uh, series, I will show you how to establish an SSH tunnel between your laptop and that instance running in the cloud using System Manager or Sessions Manager as well. So stay tuned for a new episode and uh, just like usual, uh, give me your feedback on social networks, Sepsto. Uh, Sepsto is also my GitHub profile. Tell me what you want me to talk about in the next episode. Give me comments, uh, leave some like, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. See you soon for another episode. Bye.